Good morning, everybody. Today is uh, Friday the 13th. It's uh, 2017. <clears throat> and uh, last night it rained a little bit, and uh, today's video is to check out the pH of the rainwater that I caught last night in my uh, rain catcher. So here's a spigot. You've already seen my other video, and let me just tilt this camera up so you can see. Basically, that that is my rain barrel, and uh, that's basically it. So, anyway, here is the spigot. <clears throat> Let me adjust this video. You have to excuse me, I have a bit of a cold. So as you can see, we have some water. Yes, I could have filled it up previously, but you're just going to have to take my word for it. So what I'm going to be using today is your standard uh, pH tester. <clears throat> it's the ones that you use for pools. And I'm going to be using the one on the left. One with the uh, red cap shows the pH, and uh, maybe I'll do the chlorine test too. We'll see. <clears throat> so basically, I'm going to be filling this up to about right here where my finger is, right there. And I'm going to be adding <clears throat> five drops of this solution. So let's go ahead and fill this water up. <clears throat> so let's pop this cap off. I'm going to have to do it off camera. This is a little bit tight. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to first rinse. I'm going to rinse it first. Dump it out a few times. Maybe there's some residual at the bottom of the barrel as well. Residual dirt, debris, and such. <coughs> Excuse me, I do have a cold. Yeah, let's dump that out a couple times. There we go. Okay, so you can see that. Now I have to just take a little off the top. And that's about it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the solution and I'm going to add five drops. So here we go. Let's do this correctly because I only have about ten drops left. One, two, three, four, Five. Now what I'm going to do, and per directions, to shake it up. <clears throat> and this is actually looking pretty decent. Let's see here. For those of you who understand the importance of alkaline water, that's kind of why I'm doing this. And if you look and you compare... I would say that it is probably a, right at the 7.8 range. Now, I know that my tap water is a lot less than that. It's probably 7.3, 7.4-ish. So this rainwater is alkaline. So that's the result of the pH test. Let's take another close look. There's a little bit of a glare, so let's move it over. There you go. I'd say it's probably around 7, 8. Okay, so let's dump this out. <clears throat> let's rinse this. Okay, so that is complete. Now, although I haven't done a chlorine test in a while on any water, chlorine test is as follows. 
It says, if you can read that, rinse, test vial, blah blah blah, at five drops. Place cap, mix, and then compare the chart. And the same is true with the pH test. Rinse, test vial, add five drops, mix, and check the scale. So anyway, there you go. So let's do the chlorine. <clears throat> Again, I apologize. I do have a bit of a cold. I was actually sick all week. And I didn't even, I barely went to work. But I am feeling better. Much better so that I could at least come out here and do this. So, <clears throat> let's go ahead and rinse this. So then, same with this, I gotta take some of the water off the top, that's good enough. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, add the solution. One, two, three, four, five. Now, so far, it's looking pretty good. So let's. Wow, that is exactly what I was hoping for and expected. No chlorine. What do you know? Now, for those of you who don't know anything about pH of water, go to your tra go to your tap and try this. You are going to get a positive result. Chlorine is put in the tap water to kill bacteria. I'll just let you think about that for a minute. So, those are the results of today's video. <clears throat> dump this out. Now, for those of you or just now seeing this in terms of checking pH of rainwater and don't know anything about pH. I'm not suggesting that this water is safe to drink. I'm merely checking the pH and uh, the chlorine test is just simply to tell you if there was chlorine in the water. I am not advocating to drink this water if I was to drink this water, I would send it through a filter of some sort, which I may discuss in another video. So, one of these devices may cost you about 10 bucks, depending on where you buy it. Thank you for watching.